What's going on, guys? Sports Dude here. We are back for the Sports Dudes podcast, episode number six. We are back after a little over a week and a half. I know I said every week, but we are back and with many uh, sports topics to talk about. Plenty in the sports uh, world now to talk about from uh, a lot of topics. We have also a couple of... Uh, questions as well. I'll dive into WrestleMania, of course, this Sunday, actually tomorrow. Uh, I'll talk about the MLB kicking off on this Monday, my fantasy baseball team, and the uh, March Madness concluding very soon. We have the final four now coming up, and uh, just talk about a few uh, matches there. Not matches, but a couple of uh, games and everything. So, uh, yeah, first things first, though, I wanted to uh, tell you guys last week, I told you Chris Ivory was still in the Jets. That was my bad. I was pointing out to one of my buddies. Um... Yeah, he's in the, Jag- in the Jacksonville Jaguars now, so I misspoke. And when I was talking about it, Matt Forte is going to be a great addition for the Jets now. So they have that good running back. Um, I thought Ivory was going to be on the st- I thought Ivory was on the team, but that was my bad. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to clear that up. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great Easter as well. I wanted to, uh, hope you guys had an awesome Easter as well. I wanted to tell you that. I know this podcast is a little bit um, you know, overdue, I guess you would say. But I wanted to wish you guys a happy Easter as well. So... Uh, I think I'll dive into the questions today. I'll change it up a little bit. So the, one of the questions I had was, who will be the world? Who will who will win the World Series? And uh, my prediction is the Chicago Cubs. Chicago Cubs are going to win the World Series, in my opinion. Uh, but there's a lot of teams though that are going to be vying for that as well, like the Mets, like the Cardinals, like the Royals. I mean, there's a lot of good teams out there, and uh, I'm really intrigued to watch the baseball season this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. But I think the Cubs, with so much talent, and they picked up John Lackey, Jason Hayward. Big pieces and beds over, I believe, uh, believe as well. So nice uh, additions right there, and they had the best free agency pretty much out of that any uh, MLB team. That's gonna really help them develop, uh, develop those young stars, and you have that veteran presence, which is gonna make their team just even more lethal. So, um, and I think it's gonna just be really, really a hard fought NL Central, which is basically the best division in baseball. Really, you got the Pirates that are just still gonna be, uh, you know, shooting for the top. You know, those St. Louis Cardinals are still, you know, still gonna put up a fight. Every year, they're always good. And the Cubs now up and coming and looking really good as well. So, And then you have the Reds and the Brewers who, uh, you know, they're rebuilding. It's a good way to put it. So, yeah, it's just going to be an all-out war to get to the postseason and uh, see who gets the job done. But it's going to be really fun to watch. But, uh, yeah, so MLB kicks off this Monday. And it's going to be just a lot of fun. We got the Mets and the Royals is like the first game. I believe on Sunday night, honestly. Yeah, Sunday night's like the first game, like the kickoff night. Um, the Mets and the Royals, a little bit of a World Series rematch right there. So that should be fun. And then the Cards of the Pirates is one of the other games is on Sunday, I believe, as well. So I think, yeah, it does, they do kick off on Sunday this this uh, this year. I think there's one more, but I don't quite remember it. But, yeah, so it's going to be a fun MLB, MLB year. And uh, I think I'll even go into my MVP prediction. My MVP this year, I think, uh, could be an underrated player like Paul Goldschmidt. I think Goldschmidt's going to have a really fun year. The Arizona Diamondbacks in general – are going to have a really good year, I think. And picking up Zach Grinke is a big addition. You get nice prospects down in the farm system like Archie Bradley. Um, so you got a nice, couple of nice uh, pieces to the puzzle right there for that Diamondbacks team. And that's another division, though, is going to be pretty good. I mentioned the Central, but the uh, the NL West is going to be solid, too. You get the Dodgers. You get those Giants that are still going to be good with the great pitching staff now. Uh, picking up the uh, Bum Garner and you got some Marge. They picked him up now, too. So And Matt Cain, still, I think he's still on the team, right? So... A lot of good pieces there, and of course the Dodgers with Kershaw. You got Corey Seager, one of the best prospects I believe is going to be up now. Um, you know Julio Arias, uh, I really don't know how to pronounce his name, but he'll be coming up. He'll be coming up uh, soon as well. You guys really a lot of great teams there in the NL West. So there's a lot of good teams to watch out for this MLB season. It's really fun to be a baseball fan, and I'm intrigued to see and get the job done. But um, yeah, I think Paul Goldschmidt honestly could be your surprise. He really is. A good, good player. Very underrated player from the NL. And I think he's going to have a fine season. I really do. Uh, but other guys like McCutcheon will still have a solid year, I think. Maybe a guy like an Anthony Rizzo who had a, who really put up solid numbers last year. There's a different uh, amount of guys that really could put up a great year. I think AL, though, uh, AL teams as well, like Josh Donaldson from the, in the Blue Jays, as, Blue Jays as a whole are going to have put up a great year as well. I mean, Blue Jays are a fine, phenomenal team. They played great last year. Of course, the cover boy for MLB 16 to show. Josh Donaldson is a great player. I do, uh, I do believe he will have a uh, another great season. He could be AL MVP, and then uh, Blue Jays definitely a team to watch out for as well. So yeah, it's basically the MLB rundown. I cannot wait for the fun, uh, fun it's going to become. And my fantasy baseball team, I believe I drafted uh, Thursday night. 
wow, that was a fun draft. Fun draft and uh, kind of funny. I got into the draft 30 minutes late, but it's okay. I kind of forgot. I forgot I had the draft, and then it clicked, and then boom, as I got 30 minutes late. So my team was really all all drafted, and I came in, and I here's the t- you know here's some of the players I had drafted: I had Schwarber, I had Rizzo, I had McCutcheon, <laughs> name name those guys. I had Garrett Richards too. I drafted Garrett Richards. My pitchers are just like many underrated players. They really are. Like Garrett Richards is my number one. I got uh, I think Jonathan Papelbon. Hopefully, close some games for me. But I have a nice team now. I do I do really have a nice team. I got like Jose Altuve who I like. Um, I think he was actually my first pick. The computer picked him, and that's a little surprising. They picked Jose Altuve, but. He can pick up a lot of runs for me, and he can steal a lot of bases, so I think it's a win-win. George Springer as well, another Astro that we uh, apparently got. Chris Davis, Adrian Beltre, Ian Kinsler. So those kind of guys are on my team. And then Adam Eaton, which, I mean, he's an okay player, not one of my favorite players. I mean, I think Adam Eaton is just, eh, he's okay. But, uh, yeah, we picked him up as well in the draft. So we'll have to see if we can make some work in that fantasy baseball draft. Hopefully, uh Hopefully get a win. That'd be great this year. And I've never been fantasy baseball champion. I've been uh, NFL champion, but never MLB champion. So um, that's that. Um, yeah, so my other comment then, will, will the and, uh, the Broncos now switch over to the NFL? Will the Broncos be successful without Manning? I've touched on this a few times. Um, I would say yes if they said Osweiler or if they grab another quarterback. Right now, with Mark Sanchez as their answer and losing all those pieces of the puzzle, I do not think so. Now, in a tough division like that, too, I mean, the AFC, I believe that's the West, you have the Chiefs, who had a really solid year last year. I mean, I'm not thinking the Raiders are going to put up a great year, and even though they played better than most people thought they would. And the Chargers, too, I mean, there's kind of in a rebuilding process, you know, I would think. So, in my opinion, I, I think the Broncos are going to struggle a little bit. Without Manning, it's going to be a transi- transitional period for them. You lose a lot of players like that, and you don't have a great signal caller, it's going to be a little rough for them to, uh, to bounce back from champions, NFL champions. So I think they can make the playoffs maybe, but the Chiefs are going to put up one heck of a fight after a really fun season last year from the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't expect anything less than them to you know, continue to roll. So that is basically going to be that. And then we'll transition in now to some March Madness. March Madness. Well, look at that. Wow, my bracket's busted. I mean, my, my bracket was busted – like the first maybe four days, it, it was it was kind of sad. A lot of upsets early on. I touched upon this in the last podcast, uh, and it was just talking about it, the whole thing. Now we're entering into the final four: Villanova versus Oklahoma, and Syracuse versus North Carolina. Uh, yeah, that's going to be some interesting games. Final four is always interesting now, and see if there's any upsets. Syracuse is the one that's really so far has been a big upset. They're number ten. Uh, by North Carolina's number one. I believe Oklahoma and Villanova are two and three, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really remember. But uh, my prediction is North Carolina get the W. That is my prediction for the March Madness prediction right now, North Carolina. Now, in my actual bracket, I had Kentucky winning, and that didn't work out quite well. But I do know some people that do pick Carolina. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with North Carolina to get the W there. But, uh, yeah, it was a little funny because Kansas got upset by Villanova, and I think I had Kansas in my final uh, four, two. So, just the whole thing was screwed up. I had many, many just, you know, bits and you know holes really in my brag, which did not exactly uh, look good. But oh well, sports dude is uh, failing in his brag. <laughs> it's all right though. I think it's it's just always a fun time, March Madness. And I kind of, kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of not really bored by it, but it was fun watching all the teams and they're kind of in it now. And now it's kind of you know lost its, it's like you know the energy. I guess you would say now is just kind of winding down. But uh, the MLB seasons, I'm definitely excited for that. That's definitely going to be a fun time now, hitting, uh, hitting in that uh, MLB season. going to be a lot of fun. It really is. And, of course, uh, NHL wrapping up soon. The playoffs will be coming. NBA is coming soon. NFL free agency is basically done, too. So a lot of interesting uh, periods for sports right now. So, yeah, that's basically going to be it right there. Um, we'll get into the WrestleMania stuff uh, soon here, but a couple things I want to talk to you about. If you guys didn't know, you saw the UFC gameplay that I uploaded, which, uh, by a surprise some people, yeah, I did get the game, EA UFC 2, uh, fun game, fun game. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing in the game, but it's a fun game. So, uh, basically the question I have, um, I got some good views on it, I got some good likes, and simply what I ask you for you guys when you watch this podcast or anything, um, go, go in the comment section down below and just... Uh, ask or leave your feedback on this question right here. Do you guys want to see me do a creator, uh, a, a creator, a, a fighter career mode? Uh, 
So where I go up and I go through the ranks and go through career mode, um, if you want me to do that, just put simply yes and or just simply no. I don't I don't mind if you just say yes or no. I have no problem at all. If you do, if it's like a yes and if it's I could do a live stream series only with it, I could do it just straight up live commentary, which may have its problems. But we'll see. Or I can just do it regular and just simply edit it and do the normal process. But if it was a live stream series, that could be kind of unique, a little bit of different. I can upload it you know, once in a while, maybe a little here, a little bit there, and just kind of go through, and, you know, get out in large chunks. So that's possible. And of course, what I was uploaded to YouTube as well. So that's just a simple, uh, simple little thing to, to you know, toss around. But if you want to comment down below, that'd be terrific. You can comment on Twitter, uh, twittercom sports dude. Go ahead and follow that as well. Go ahead and follow Twitter as well. See a nice transition there. Um, so yeah, just go uh, in the comment section down below and just uh, simply put yes or no if you would be interested in seeing it. Uh, just me creating my fighter. It could be Matt Dude again. I know you guys have seen, uh, seen Matt Dude. He could be making his uh, UFC debut. And he's been playing NBA. He's in a lot of sports. He's really a five-star athlete. So I'm going to go down there, and I can make a new guy too. Maybe <laughs> it wouldn't be bad either. So, yeah, just go in down the comment section down below and uh, just give me your feedback on the UFC creator mode. And, of course, we MLB 16, the show, finally came out. I know we've talked about it many podcast now oh man i'm very excited to get it out for you guys just you noticed i uploaded the, uh, the finale of diamond dynasty mlb 15 the show um yeah my goal this year for 16 the show is to have a little more consistency with it hopefully up, up a little more frequently with it um i do have it in my editing software and i hope to get it out to you uh in very soon hopefully hopefully very soon in the next few days the goal is to get that first diamond dynasty video out i you know the funny thing is i tried playing it today though and the and it just did not work. The servers were down. I tried the uh, new game mode, which I'll probably show you guys maybe some of the Battle Royale. I tried some online head to head to straight up Diamond Dynasty. I was going to record it and uh, just get it in there, get it ready. And unfortunately, it was just saying, chain, saying challenge failed. So I know it's it's a new game. It's got to get through the, per the perks and everything. So, uh, But I'm excited to get into it and, and, and play it. You know, I really am. It's really a fun game. And Diamond Dynasty this year is really cool to have tons of uh, a little sneak peek. I have tons of packs to open. On that first episode, I'm not going to show you all the packs because it's quite boring. I'm just going to skip to the ones that are really important. So that is basically going to be that. And uh, yeah, here, so here's basically going to be the uh, the wrestling side of the podcast now. Actually, oh, whoop, whoop, we got one more thing. One in the NFL moves category here was Jared Cook. I think basically the most notable in my opinion. Jared Cook going to the Green Bay Packers. And that's actually an interesting move in my opinion. With the injuries they had last year with Jordy Nelson and everything, and now they're all coming back. Nelson's coming back. Rogers still has Cobb. He's got Richard Rogers, who of course made that miraculous touchdown reception. Is still an up and coming, uh, pretty solid player. Basically, their best tight end they've ever really had. I mean, Jermichael Finley didn't turn out to be so good. Andrew Corliss wasn't much. So you got a guy like Richard Rogers, pretty good. And now you add a, a, a big tall weapon in Jerry Cook. Nice, uh, nice weapons there to, to uh, play around with for Aaron Rodgers. So I thought that was a pretty fun move, or a pretty good move, I could say. I would say a good move for the Packers, picking up Jared Cook. And, of course, off one more, too. Of course, RG3. I don't know if I mentioned this last episode. I'll touch on it again. RG3 going to the Cleveland Browns. I don't believe I did. Um, yeah, that one was interesting. I remember I've talked about it you know, many, many times now, several times, talking about Johnny Manziel leaving and RG3 getting you know, caught by the Redskins. And now he, uh, well, he goes to the Browns. That's uh, that's interesting right there. I thought the Browns were kind of done with running quarterbacks or maybe they're going to snag one in the draft, but they're going to go with RG3. I mentioned this a few times. I, I, I knew for sure that he was going to get another shot. I knew it may, I thought it was going to be the Cowboys or some other team's going to give him another shot, and it turned out to be the Browns. RG3 gets another shot to, uh, to prove it. If he can stay healthy, he's actually a really good player. I mean, he's a good player when he stays healthy. He runs a lot, though, but he, he did put up some nice stats. He's got to stay healthy, though. That's not easy when you're running quarterback. You know, and mobility is, you know, a diamond dozen in the NFL. So it should be interesting to see what he can do as a, as the Browns quarterback. The Browns has still got a lot of pieces to work on, though. A lot of pieces to work on. So should be interesting to see what happens there. So, yeah, I'll dive in now to the wrestling, and that's pretty much everything for the uh, NFL, MLB side of things and everything. That questions are all good. So, yeah, so let's get into the uh, wrestling. WrestleMania 32 is tomorrow. Biggest show of the year for WWE. It's going to be a great show. Great, great show. Four hours long, which is going to be just crazy. Really, four hours plus a two-hour pre-show. So it's going to be uh, pretty insane. So I'll run through basically the big matches here. Because um, if you're a wrestling fan, you guys know all this already. But uh, Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar. 
going to be a dog fight, a no holds barred street fight. So that's going to be a great match. Um, my prediction is going to be Brock Lesnar getting the win, but Ambrose putting up one heck of a fight in the end. That's going to be a brutal match and one I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be a really fun one. So that one's going to be a really fun match in my opinion. I think it's going to be really good. The crowd will definitely be excited for that one. Um, and then we got Roman Reigns, of course, facing Triple H for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That's going to be, uh, I think, of course, it's going to be met with a lot of fan backlash as Roman really has not been cheered very well. But I think, nonetheless, it's going to be, I think, a good match. I think Roman is going to put on what kind of, heck of a fight. Triple H is in the main event, so he's going to put everything he's uh, he's got on there. It's going to probably exceed expectations, I think. Um, Roman will probably win, or will he probably, he will win the championship I think there's really no doubt about that. Roman wins a title for the third time now. He comes to be World Heavyweight Champion. And maybe he does turn heel. Maybe or maybe it's, you know, it does turn bad. Um, I don't know. I'm really up in the air. I could see him doing it, but I could see him staying. I really don't know, but I do know he will probably get booed in that match. But I think it's going to be fun to many people's surprise. It's gonna, actually going to be a good match, which could be surprising. Um, and then... We got, what was the other one? Uh, yeah, Triple Threat. Oh, yeah, Triple Threat for the Divas Championship. Sasha, Charlotte, and Becky. That's going to be a good match in my opinion as well. I think that one actually might steal the show. as a really under-rated uh, really match that people are kind of going in. But it really could sh- really have an awesome, awesome showing. And it might be a really fun match. So I'm looking forward to that one. And, uh, yeah, really looking forward to that one as well. That that could be a really good match as well. So, I guess I'm really looking forward to the whole entire show. It's just going to be an awesome show. It really is. Um, and, of course, the, the the bigger kahuna here, Shane McMahon versus The Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell. Shane wins, control of Raw. Undertaker loses. He's done um, from competing at WrestleMania. It's going to be a really just crazy, crazy match. Big, big, just, you know, big uh, bursts of fun and just you know big spots and everything i do think shane mcmahon wins though surprises everybody really gets the win troll the raw maybe you know definitely some interference probably happening i don't really know how to predict predict that one or uh, analyze that one but it's going to be one heck of a night um if you're a wrestling fan go ahead and tune in go buy that w network and go um tune in to wrestlemania 32 it's gonna be a really fun show i will be uh i'll be watching it's gonna be a lot of fun if you want to tweet me or uh, anything about like your predictions or anything about it or any comments during the show, I can uh, answer. I might be live tweeting during the show if you guys want me to. And one more thing, if you're interested, we get a few people on this. I could do uh, what I've used to do, the old WWE live stream, like predictions and predictions and analysis. I can really go dive in even further because I don't want to bore you guys too much here. It's already 18 minute long podcast. I think it's the longest one I've ever done. Did. So, uh, if you want to be kind of go in depth a little even more, I can do that old live stream I did with like W2K16. Now I play through the games. I, I pick the certain matches I want to do, and I live stream it over on my Twitch, and then just talk about uh, the matches, my predictions, and analysis of the whole thing. So, if you guys want me to go do it, drop the comment down below, and uh, if we get a few few you guys want to do it, then I can live stream uh, probably tonight or maybe tomorrow, which would be a lot of fun. So that's gonna wrap it up. My voice is is pretty tired. I need some water. Nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy this podcast. Many topics to talk about. I will see you next week for episode number seven. Already seven episodes in this great edition of the Sports Dude Podcast. I hope you guys did enjoy. If I said if you're new to my channel on the Sports Dude, go ahead and subscribe down below. That'd be very appreciated. Drop a like on this video, guys, and I appreciate it. Go ahead and drop your feedback below on the, on the UFC stuff I was talking about. And, of course, if you want to see some of the WWE uh, live streams as well. Thank you guys for always watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. It really means a lot to me, guys. I appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.